How's it going guys? Hugstore here and welcome back once again for another episode of Hurt World. So, uh, you know, don't pay attention to the uh, the chat down there. Some people are acting crazy. But um, I was out running around gathering up resources earlier and a meteor fell pretty close to where I was. And you'll never believe all the cool loot that I actually got out of it. I, I couldn't even believe it myself. I was like, wow, this is really... It kind of made me think the meteors might be giving off a little bit too much loot, guys. Like, seriously, it could make the game a little too easy. But, uh, oh, another meteor's already falling. It's already been 30 min minutes? Like, seriously? Holy crap. Okay, so I'm just trying to get back to my base because... Oh, well, good. I was freezing to death. I was a little scared there. But there's like 10 or 11 people on the server as well, so I'm kind of worried somebody might actually try to kill me. You, you never really know, guys. But uh, just just hold on. Let me Let me find somewhere safe real quick. I want to show you guys this. This is pretty sweet. So, 96 Ultranium. I couldn't believe it. Shaped Ultranium. It's already shaped. This, this freaking, uh, like, what? No way. And it also dropped, like, some amber. It uh, dropped some Shape Mondidium, as well as, like, a full stack of coal. I think it dropped, like, 50 Tritrinium, Tritrinium, whatever this stuff is called. I actually picked up some of it myself, but I couldn't believe all the loot. And it dropped a few other things, like, I I'm not sure exactly everything that it dropped, but it was just like, wow, no joke. So we're going to head back to the base. We're going to try to get back over there in one piece with all of our loot intact. And we're going to see about crafting up some new gear, as well as possibly um, building a new base. Because I know my base is just way too small. I don't have the storage capacity for all of this loot. So we're going to have to find a new location. Now, this is kind of nice. I actually kind of like this spot. A little secluded. Which is something else, you know, Be me being, um, like, on YouTube and, and being the server admin, of course, I got a lot of people that uh, like to come on the server to just give me problems in general or, you know, try to uh, just, uh, like, raid me or kill me. So, it, it, it's whatever. It's what it is, guys. It doesn't really bother me. It's just, you know, it's one of those things. But we're going to have to, uh, obviously, get back to the base if I can remember where the heck my base is. I think it's over this way. So first things first, we need to figure out what we can craft right now with the materials that we have on hand. We need to use up some of this stuff, make it into gear, just make more room if we can. I mean, we literally are out of storage space. I mean, we got two places left and yeah, I guess I could place another two boxes over here. But I mean, honestly, it's just not big enough. This is an easy base to get into. All you gotta do is take down one wall and you're pretty much in. So we need to build a new base, but before we do that, Let's go ahead, craft up some new gear, but let's take a look. Let's see, what can we actually make? I was I was kind of thinking maybe the shotgun because we do have the ultranium for that. We have the iron. We also have a lot of shotgun rounds. So, I mean, that kind of makes a lot of sense to me. And as far as gear goes, can we make the, I'm just, I'm trying to think. Can we make the, uh, the gray? No, we actually need to gather up a lot of Sasquatch pelts. Now, I did manage to gather up some of the Arctic pelts, but it's not going to be enough to do anything with as far as I can see. Now, what about the gas mask? It doesn't actually say it does anything. I know used to this kind of helped with, um, what was it, radiation and maybe chemicals and stuff like that? If anybody knows, leave a comment down below. Does this thing still, is it still functional? I mean, because I, I love the gas mask. I like the way it looks, so... If this thing still works, I want to craft it, obviously. I may just go ahead and do it anyway, because it's only seven Mondinium, which really isn't anything. But as far as gear, I mean, is there anything we can really do at this point that's going to improve our way of life? I don't think there is. I think everything's way too expensive, but we will craft up that shotgun. We got to gather up some Yeti Pels so we can craft up ourselves a gray winter jacket. And then, of course, after we craft up the gray winter jacket, that allows us to craft the red winter jacket once we get the arctic pelts now i do have a few arctic pelts from my little expedition earlier we're not worried about that pig but uh, at this point you know we got the shotgun so i'm ready to see what this thing will do to a yeti i mean i'm willing to take the chance honestly i want to go over here and just basically blast a yeti right in his face i'm just curious to see how many shots this thing is going to take oh there's one right there watch as the hunter stalks his prey the elusive yeti he is taking a poop right now, so this is the perfect opportunity to pounce on him. The hunter takes aim. The hunter moves in just to get a little closer. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> 